at Can-Am RV in London, Ontario, and they've partnered with us this year with the Canadian Truck King Challenge to give us some heavyweight trailers to match our one-ton duallys. HD, of course, stands for heavy duty, and these are the trucks that, that do the heavy duty work. They do the, the hauling, the towing, and they're a small segment of the market because most people don't need anything this large, but there still are people that need them for work. These are serious work trucks. And it's very important that if someone's going to put out a truck and say this is a work truck, well, we have to find out, can it do what they say? Strictly uh, one-ton trucks this year, diesel, duallys, we've got Ford, we have the Ram, we have the Silverado. These are the heavyweights within the pickup truck world, and we've stuck the heaviest trailers on them that we can find. These are the big three. These are the only truck manufacturers that make a heavy duty. Uh, Toyota and Nissan do not. This is as close to apples and apples as you can get. And uh, with the amount of weights that we're towing, we're going to be putting uh, two tons of payload in there in the way of shingles. We want to see how each one performs back to back. And with five judges cycling through the trucks, we're going to get some really good impressions. I'm five foot four and I'm sort of looking down over this enormous hood. It, uh, it, it's a lot of truck. This is a competitive, competitive segment because the guys that buy this are not trying to show off. They're working with them. So how well they do out there, how well they tow, how well they handle payload really matters. So they will pay attention to these results. After all was said and done, fuel calculated, the five judges rotating through, after driving almost 3,000 kilometers over two days, the Chevy Silverado 3500 came out the winner. The Chevy's got a little bit of work to do on its interior. However, you could not take away the fact that its towing power, its ability to handle payload, and just its road manners in general were impeccable.